Hi, I'm here with Lori Bortz, um, playwright, screenwriter, opera creator. I'm so happy to have you here. Pleasure um, to have you. Welcome to my garden. I love it. It's so beautiful. I love the trees and all the flowers. It's a gorgeous day. Um, yeah, and I have a few questions for you. Um, my first question, because um, you've done all these things that I just mentioned, yes. um, how do you, um, how does your, how does that inspire what you do? Because you have all this knowledge. Um, yeah. Um, I, mean, I have a lot of different interests and I don't like to let a lack of experience hold me back. If I want to do something, I tend to charge ahead and just tackle it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's fabulous. And we were talking a little bit earlier, um, you had overcome some uh, filming with your first um, book um, yes. and illustrated. These are beautiful illustrations. Yes, um, it's done by Mariana Novotny, uh, who we've worked with at Abiton Book Company in various capacities. She's best known for her music, but she's also a very talented visual artist. And Mariana also did uh, painted backdrops for the DVD that oh, accompanies DVD. this book, um, which is indeed a feature-length film that was shot in our home um, um, with sets made to scale for our cats. Who Here we have the picture starred. of the cats, the stars, <laughs> <laughs> and the film. That's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I found the cats far easier to work with than human beings. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great. Yeah. And can you talk about maybe the seed that started this um, series? We also have Kung Fu Kitty laying down the law. Yes, this um, is a recent release. And this was illustrated by... Michael Gentile. Um, Very cool. Yeah. Some beautiful. Who was the art director for New York Press for quite some time. and. Uh, Michael also showed at Abiton Garage, a gallery that was right here in this garage. Right back here. Uh, yeah, for five years. Uh, we closed in 2008. Um, we are looking into making a virtual Abiton Garage in the near future. Very cool. So, yes, uh, the seeds for this project were planted a long time ago. Um, uh, let me preface by saying Kung Fu Kitty is a retelling of the biblical story of Exodus. And I spent a lot of time with my maternal grandmother as a child, and she was very fond of Chinese art and artifacts, and had her home decorated with such things. Uh, she had a curio cabinet with some small Chinese figurines, but also other items that she brought back from international travels. And she delighted in showing me all of her treasures, and explaining her backgrounds. Uh, next to one Chinese figurine, she had a replica of Michelangelo's Moses. Wow. Uh, yeah, so repeatedly I was staring at those two items side by side. Uh, I also watched my mother uh, paint Chinese classical scenes when I was a little girl. Um, Chinese culture became, I hate to say, but trendy for a while uh, after Nixon's visit to China. Right. Um, all of a sudden, at our school library, there were tons of Chinese fairy tale and folk tale books, and I devoured them. Uh, there was a record of Chinese fairy tales that I must have checked out dozens of times to listen, and, and that helped me be able to pronounce the names. But you such. do, you have all. Um, I, I was really, I had a lot of fun reading all the different names. That was difficult. Yeah. I do not speak Chinese. <laughs> I used Mandarin tools at first, and for the first book, I consulted with uh, a Shaolin monk. Oh, wow. To help make sure that I had the correct Mandarin pronunciations. For the second book, I spoke with my cousin. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, he oh, I didn't have to read this aloud. There was, there was no film, but I just wanted to make sure that I understood in case I had reading. Oh, that's wonderful. I wanted to be respectful of the language, of the culture. Um, I made sure in doing my research that I had the appropriate setting, that the flora, the fauna, the mountains, the river, everything was indeed correct. And even though the story is fiction, I, I think it all becomes a lot more believable. Yeah. It's set in a realistic atmosphere. 
and there are just beautiful depictions of um, what you're just talking about. Um, so I'm trying to, um, well this was a little bit different, but I just love this dreamy, dreamy state here. Yes. Yes, she is dreaming that she sprouted wings, but she wakes up actually having done so. Oh, that's so cool. So that's just a little taste of the delights that you find in this book and the details that are there. A little bit. You have to read it to find the rest. <laughs> have to read it. And, and where can we buy these? Um, um, awesome. They can be purchased through uh, Abaton Book Company website mm -hmm. and also at Amazon. At Amazon, too. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Lori. I had so much fun. Woohoo! Buy your books! <laughs>